Hello, Pittsburgh. We come together tonight to mourn, and it's the right thing to do. We lost 11 of our neighbors, and we're here to mourn the way that they were taken from us. We're here to mourn the fact that we live in a society where something like this could even exist. We're here to mourn the attack upon our Jewish community. We're here to be supporters. We're here to make sure that those victims' families have what Pittsburghers do, the understanding that we are all here for them. And we will help them through this horror that they are living. We're here to recognize the officers and the two members of the congregation who are still suffering and to let them and their families know we're here for you because we're Pittsburghers. And that's what we do. We care and take care of those in need and we show it as a community of one. In the next several weeks and months, it will become increasingly clear and increasingly necessary to show our support of the Jewish community, to be behind the community as a whole, and to say that anti-Semitism is not even remotely a thought within this city's borders and throughout this area and region of Western Pennsylvania. Let me tell you something about Pittsburghers. We're tough. We are proud of our blue collar roots. And we're not the type of people that react to threats or actions in a way that ever takes back from us. We will drive anti-Semitism and the hate of any people back to the basement on their computer and away from the open discussions and dialogues around this city, around this state, and around this country. There are different levels of evil. There's an evil that you experience when there is a mass murder. It's an evil that drives down people. There's an evil that you face when the victims are children or the elderly, the innocent, the ones that can't take care of themselves. There's an evil that is placed on top of that when it is against a group of people simply because of the way they pray and who they are. And there is an evil which happens when you enter into a sacred place, a place where it is believed to be the safe place, the place where peace is and not where you would ever have to worry or have any fear. We are dealing with that quadruple evil, the darkest hour of our city's history. But here's another thing about Pittsburgh. We're a resilient people. We will work together as one. We will defeat hate with love. We will be a city of compassion, welcoming to all people, no matter what your religion or where your family came from on this earth or your status. And we will recognize this moment as a moment when this nation needs to heal and the nation needs to come together under the common sense of how we stop events like this from happening ever again. We are Pittsburgh. We'll take care of those families who lost their loved ones. 
We'll take care of those who were injured protecting us. We'll make sure that our Jewish community has the support that it needs and that the entire community comes together as one. We will eradicate any type of hate throughout this city and work for common sense laws when it comes to stop this type of violence. And we'll do it not only because we're Pittsburgh, but because we are one.